The Center for Cellular and Biomolecular Machines is an interdisciplinary center that brings together more than 20 faculty labs from across physics, bioengineering, material science and engineering, chemistry and chemical biology, and even uh, molecular and cell biology to study how biological entities come together to achieve function. UC Merced is a new institution that was established about 15 years ago and it's been growing and it was established without any departmental boundaries and even now even though we have grown a lot that still is part of our basic DNA. Our center research focuses on the macromolecules and machines of life. This goes from the nanoscale assemblies that are composed of proteins uh, to all the way to cells and how they organize to form uh, colonies and differentiating tissue and including also interactions with synthetic materials. So we do all this type of research in an interdisciplinary and integrative way, and then we work all together towards these goals. We work on the circadian clock system of cyanobacteria, and the reason why we work on it is because we can reconstitute the entire clock in a test tube um, in the absence of any living cells, which means that we can look at how the clock proteins interact at the molecular level without any complicating factors that are associated with live cells. So one of the AI applications that the center is really looking forward is try to develop biosensors that will be used for a diagnosis and for biomedical research. One of the key problems that biomedical research has nowadays is that it's very difficult to monitor the different processes at the cellular level. So by developing these biosensors, which are based on proteins, we should be able to probe different properties in the cells, including pH, the concentration of different molecules inside that are key to understand all these phenomena. My lab is all about taking optical engineering technologies and applying them to bio biomedical problems. So we build new microscopes to try to answer biomedical pro uh, questions that have been unanswered because there's no technology to do it. So we build advanced microscopy for intravital imaging. Uh, we also do intravital sensing of things like oxygen in tissue at very small volumes. Um, and we're looking to branch out to other techniques as well. My research is on uh, using nanomaterials to put them together to make sort of novel multifunctional hybrid devices. So being part of CCBM actually got me started on this collaboration. So we make these nano-assembled shell structures that we can enclose things in and break them with light or heat. And that's the sort of the platform that my group designed. But collaborating with them, we are actually translating it to work in tissue engineering platforms. This is where the collaborative part comes in and it actually lets me get a new and really exciting way of applying what my group uh, with other physicists have sort of come up with. We provide a very rigorous graduate program that combines coursework and hands-on training modules that are required for all our graduate fellows. And so the goal of this program is to actually provide every student that comes to our center with the basic biophysical toolkit that allows them to be versatile. And this is a critical skill for you know, cutting edge research in biophysical sciences, biotechnology and biomaterials and this also makes them very attractive to the biotech industry. The center really focuses on collaboration and I don't think that there's a career out there anymore where you are not going to be collaborating. So it's a skill in learning how to communicate your research to people outside of your specific area, how to communicate the data that you're acquiring to other people, and it's just what you need in order to move on. It's been really interesting seeing the different work that's been going on in the community, all the different things about protein folding and uh, tumor research. It's all going towards the hard problems that we face in society. And so that's been uh, very fascinating to see what's been going on and seeing how I can contribute to that as well with my research. Me being a computational biophysics student, I tend to interact and collaborate with experimentalists regularly. So it's one of a kind training experience. UC Merced was chosen to be here in Merced because there is a great need for more economic development, a research base, which is what UC Merced brings to this area. As an NSF project, our center contributes to broadening participation efforts. What that means is we are committed to increasing the representation of women, students with disabilities, and various racial and ethnic groups into STEM fields. Our center initiated the Science and Technology Enrichment Program, which is a program for high school students from the area. 
This program allows students to come in and gain research experience in faculty labs. They also engage in a one-week orientation at the beginning of summer. They attend scientific talks throughout the summer and then in the fall they come back in our open house to do a poster session. We're proud of the fact that through our center and the funding and resources it brings to UC Merced, we're able to do new things that were not able to be done before this came. So we're excited about the new opportunities that this center provides for young people in the area, not just the undergraduates and the graduate students, but those who are living in the community. So my vision for the future of CCBM is to be an institution on campus that is a focal point for all biophysical science, biotechnology, biomaterials research, and also an entity that provides graduate education and training, including graduate minor degrees in these fields for all students from across the university.